a doctor hired for autopsy, posted it to IG Live. Um, let's put up the picture. Insane. So in an update, uh, Jessica Ross and Trevion Isaiah Taylor Sr., the parents of a dead baby who was decapitated. If you remember our original reporting, the hospital did not uh, report it to the authorities and according to them, encouraged them not to do anything either. It was a funeral home who did so. Uh, this was during a botched delivery. They trusted another doctor to perform an autopsy on the child. But this doctor recorded the procedure and posted it to IG without getting or seeking their permission. As previously reported, the plaintiff said the mother went into labor in early July and went to Southern Regional Medical Center. She and the father claim that Dr. Tracy St. Julian decapitated their son. Okay, let's put up the picture. Um, Travion Isaiah Taylor Jr. during a botched delivery. Plaintiffs accused the hospital and the doctor of trying to cover up the horrifying truth of what happened. The doctor allegedly kept the couple in the dark about the decapitation when talking to them a few hours after the delivery. Hospital workers allegedly lied to the couple, telling them that a free autopsy was not an option under the, the uh, circumstances. The complaint alleges that this false information was given to avoid a forensic autopsy and to obstruct the gathering of evidence, according to the authorities. Furthermore, the complaint alleges that healthcare provider, providers at the hospital pressured the young couple to cremate their baby in an attempt to destroy the evidence. It was only on July 13th, several days after delivery and a day after Ross left the hospital that staff told them about the decapitation. The plaintiff's statement said the hospital has said that St. Julian did not work for them and that she was only using their facility. They assert that the baby's death occurred in utero prior to the delivery and decapitation, that they voluntarily reported the death to the Clayton County Medical Examiner's Office and were cooperating with all investigations. So enter Dr. Jackson Gates, according to the new complaint, Ross signed a contract with him on July 12th to do the autopsy. The lawsuit filed on September 1, but recently reported, said that he hosted on July 14th video that showed in graphic and grisly detail a post mortem examination of the decapitated, severed head of the child. Gates took it down, but then on July 21st, put up two more, according to the complaint. Again, these allegedly showed the autopsy in horrific detail. The plaintiffs were informed about the posting of these videos on social media, resulting in the plaintiffs experiencing feelings of shock, anger, humiliation, and outrage. A plaintiff statement said they had paid Gates $2,500 for the autopsy. And I want to remind you, they should not have had to pay at all. A forensic autopsy was allowable at no cost, except they were misinformed by staff, according to them. Ross and Taylor Sr. sent a cease and desist letter through their attorneys on August 10th, telling Gates to take down the videos. The IG account named in a lawsuit is set to private as of Wednesday. Gates did not respond to law and crime. Um, this is a young couple. One doctor, according to them, completely violates all sentiment of care. Then they seek another doctor to help bring them justice. And this doctor, according to them, violates them yet again. 
Um, people have to be held accountable. You get all of that education. You go through all of those certifications. You know better than us. You're the MD. You know the rules and ways we never could understand them. And then you violate trust in such a way that's baffling to the authorities. And now this has happened to the same couple twice. Two different scenarios, but done by people who hold extreme public trust. You know why the hospital said, The doctor, the original doctor did not work there. Well, liability, liability. They contract with medical doctors all the time. That's how it works. Um, We're gonna bring you updates as they come. My heart goes out to this young couple uh, who did everything right according to the report that we have. Everything right, they showed up to prenatal and all of it to have something like this happen. Sharon thoughts. They should be snuggling with their baby right now. And every time you say people should be held accountable, Dr. Ritchie, that's what I think we have to focus on the people. What is the hospital? Just made up of people. So many people had to conspire to do this filth that you or I would have been the one person to whisper in their ear and say they're lying to you. No one did that because too many people don't care about black people. And that includes people of color indoctrinated to act this way. I hope, though it'll never bring their child back and never take away the pain, that they too can reach an eight figure settlement like Melissa Rivers did. Remember that? When they took pictures of her mother who then passed away during her surgery. Remember that? She's worth it, this couple's worth it. Right, very well said.